Okay, so this video is a review for a Keanu Reeves film called Exposed. So I apologize if you search the words Keanu Reeves Exposed hoping for something else. As you can imagine, gathering pictures for this review was a pain. In this movie, Keanu Reeves plays a washed-up detective investigating his partner's death. He searches the streets of New York looking for clues to help find the person who killed him. The more information he finds, the more he realizes that his department is filled with corruption. Meanwhile, in movie number two, a woman from a different Keanu Reeves film is seeing angels. Other mysterious things happen to her. What do they mean? What's interesting about this particular Keanu Reeves film was that it wasn't originally intended to be a Keanu Reeves film. In the original cut, she was the lead, and the story was about her and her family and friends. Keanu's role was apparently pretty small, but then John Wick came out and hey look, Keanu is relevant again. So when Grindstone Entertainment got their hands on this film, they recut it to be a police investigation thriller, in which Reeves now took a leading role. This caused some controversy on the internet, but then again, what doesn't? People were calling the people at Lionsgate racist for recutting the film about Latinos and black people to be more white person centered. Personally, I don't really see it this way. Grindstone releases dozens of generic straight-to-on-demand action and horror movies every year. And if they acquire a film that breaks the marketability mold, they won't hesitate to butcher it up and try and make it more sellable. The most notorious example of this is the 2014 film Dying of the Light, which was directed by Paul Schrader, produced by Nicholas Winding Refn, and starred Nicolas Cage. So yeah, I think this is an issue of the original cut of Exposed just being hard to sell like Dying of the Light, and not some kind of racism thing. I will admit to not personally personally knowing anyone who works at Grindstone, so they could actually all be clan members. I wouldn't know. Anyway, enough of the backstory, let's talk about the final product. This movie sucks. The big problem is that there's barely an overarching story here. For the most part, Exposed is just a sloppy collection of subplots that don't come together. I feel like we just talked about this. It won't surprise you to learn that Keanu's scenes are stretched and padded to an extent that only Peter Jackson would approve of. In my opinion, this fairly unimportant character does not need a romance subplot. A plotline about his guilt as a result of being a bad parent. And a bizarrely out of place scene in which he hits a toy store for no apparent reason. In addition to his scenes of police investigation. Looking back on the film, Keanu only really needed to be there for like three scenes. Cut the rest out and you have a more coherent picture. Over in movie number two with the Latinos and Angel sightings, things aren't much better. It's cluttered with too many characters that are tough to keep up with, and the supernatural elements are buried, and don't get the screen time they need. The movie also has no idea how to wrap this plot up, so they do so in the most infuriating way possible. By straight up lying to you. I hate it when you have a scene play out in front of you, such as the one here where the angel sightings mystery is established, only to find out later, no, that didn't really happen. Here's what actually happened. It's cheating the audience. You can't present material as having actually happened and then choose to ignore it later. That's not the way movies work unless you're dealing with an unreliable narrator, such as with the usual suspects. This movie has no narrator. Overall, I don't like saying this about a Keanu Reeves project, but I kind of hated this movie. Definitely a Avoid this one. It's not a good cop movie and it's not a good supernatural thriller. I give it a 2 out of 10.